Thousands of additional Lime and Lyft e-scooters will be hitting the streets of Portland by the end of September. The Portland Bureau of Transportation tells us this is part of a multi-year deal between Lyft and Lime, in part because they say last year Portlanders took a record one million rides on e-scooters. Starting today, there's a new rule for riders. KT's Thumbi Varma joins us live. Thumbi, what is the new safety requirement for e-scooter rides? Well, Deb, starting today, you're going to want to park your bike, your e-scooter, and make sure it's locked like this. The reason is so that these e-scooters aren't lying around for people to trip and fall on, especially people with disabilities. If you do violate this rule, you could face penalties. By the end of September, there will be about 3,500 scooters on the streets of Portland. That's roughly double the amount we have now. It's part of a city effort to reduce carbon emissions. A 2019 Portland Bureau of Transportation pilot study showed that in just four months, e-scooters reduced 300,000 vehicular miles traveled. We believe this is uh, shown to be a green, sustainable, low carbon transportation option. Uh, that is proving to be useful for thousands of Portlanders. Dylan Rivera is a spokesperson for Peabot. Starting today, he says not only will the city see more scooters, but riders will have new requirements as well. The city is requiring riders to lock their scooters, and that's not all. We have uh, required uh, uh, speeds of the vehicles to be capped, uh, especially on the East Bank Esplanade and some other areas that are high traffic areas. If someone leaves a scooter in the middle of the sidewalk, anyone affected can file a complaint with Peabot and the e-scooter companies. What sort of accountability measures have you placed on the companies to make sure that they actually hold riders who break their rules accountable? We'll be monitoring uh, their response time uh, to complaints that come in through our uh, report an e-scooter website. Rivera gave us some examples of what that looks like. So uh, blocking a max platform, blocking a, a corner ramp, those are things that should be dealt with within minutes. We also asked him what happens if companies don't act in accordance with the city's response requirements. If we find that their actions are not adequate, then uh, what we can do is hit them in the pocketbook, which is we can require them to have fewer scooters in Portland. And if you see an e-scooter that looks like this, that's unlocked, you can report it to Peabot through their website. You can even call 311, and you can also go to the e-scooter company's apps and report it there. We did reach out to Lyft and Lime to see what their enforcement policies will look like when people do break these rules. And we will let you know when we hear, when we hear back. We did reach out after hours. Reporting live in Northeast Portland, Thunvi Verma, K2 News.